the end of their sophomore year, students studying physics take an advanced lab course. We needed to give them real experience with advanced physics phenomena remotely. What we came up with is a way for them to control the equipment over the internet and see the effects of their commands through live feeds from cameras aimed at the equipment. Well, we tried to make it as much like working in the lab as could be. Everything that the student might touch or push to have an effect on the phenomenon they're trying to observe is there for them to touch and push. We've designed it such that all of these buttons are, are clickable and the students can actually press any button that they want, set this up just like they would in class to be exactly the same and run exactly how it would if they were here in person. This allows for improvisation and uh, creativity and also mistakes to be made, which is a key point to learning physics in the lab. It takes us a little while to get the students to realize they're not dealing with a simulation, that they're dealing with the actual equipment. Once they see that, they become much more invested. 3D printing was a crucial component to designing this lab. Relatively early on in the process, uh, Deborah approached me with a few designs. We had many challenges. It was kind of difficult to kind of get it all to work. It resulted in some interesting design choices. And then the last major component of this lab um, is our Raspberry Pi with all of its hats. These wires control pretty much everything in the lab. This really opened up a whole new world for us to do today what we couldn't have done 15 years ago. This is serving throughout the course of the year. It'll be hundreds of students that pass through, but there's so many more. We started reaching out to other universities which may not be able to mobilize for remote instruction. Uh, we can make these apps accessible to them. It doesn't replace in-person learning, but it's as good as we can get. And there's definitely improvements to be made, but the students seem to appreciate the effort that went in and be willing to uh, put in a lot of effort themselves to get the most out of these experiments. The fact that they can see the effect of their interactions in real time and make their interactions at their will, I think that makes it as much of a learning experience as they can get remotely. It's a crucial part of making a connection to real-world phenomena from stuff they only met in a book.